Okay, so this is father-daughter road trip, day one, leg one. We just started. We just started. How long? How many days is it going to take us to get there? Mm, well, today we're getting started late, so mm -hmm. we're gonna get, not going to log many miles today. So we plan to drive 15 hours a day, but mm -hmm. today we're going to do about eight. So that should put us somewhere around New Orleans, maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I checked the I checked on maps. It takes so it takes an hour and a day and nine hours. So so 31 30. Three hours, yes. Mm -hmm. That's about right. Yeah. All right, so stay with us. We'll see how it happens. <laughs> for those of you tuning in for the first time, I'm Erica. And my family and I raise and breed Cane Corsos on our homestead property. One thing we can say about our life together is that there is never a dull moment. Recently, we received a call for assistance from the daughter of the greatest boxer of all time and an undefeated boxing legend herself, Layla Ali. She and her husband Curtis are packing up and moving to the southeast. Their Cane Corso named Buddy needs a ride to Georgia ahead of their departure and air travel is just not an option. What do you do when the daughter of the goat asks specifically for your help? Well, we step up to the challenge. So while I hold down the fort back at the homestead, Greg and Gianna are embarking on a cross country trip to retrieve Buddy. Okay, we made it to California. A uh, couple days of grueling, rugged roads that <laughs> seems like nobody knows what asphalt is out in the Midwest. Uh, but we made it, and we're here to pick up our special um, guest. Uh, but we're gonna grab some breakfast, gas up, and be ready to hit the road after we pick up our guest. Yeah, for anybody in Atlanta complaining about gas prices, you don't want none of this California love at the pump. It's double what it is in Atlanta. Hi, good. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Nice to meet you. Thanks for coming. Yeah, Thanks no problem. Riding with your dad. Are you getting your work done in the car? Yeah, I have a class right now. Oh, that's good. That's, good. that's amazing. Our kids are doing homeschool too. Buddy, okay, relax. buddy, you're gonna you're gonna go. You're gonna go. He's gonna meet you in Atlanta. Yeah, I told her he's a house dog. So the other dogs that you have. Um, stay outside is it covered like how's that oh they have a, we're in construction but that kennel is like a hotel it's like okay. there's no it's i mean i could go out there and live actually because oh, wow. it's it's uh it's under construction but it's it's going to be very nice when we finish i mean we got um finished floors we got security doors around it um they have in and out runs where they can go in and out on their own and we can let them out and it's about two acres where their area is that they just run around and supervise of course right, right. Um, and then we have a clinic out there also for like the pet, where we as well the pet puppies uh -huh. and like a pet clinic out there too. So when our vet comes, he has a clinic on site to work on. So, oh, cool. hey, we're trying to put some things together. Oh, that's <laughs> now she told me you guys have Frenchies now, so I've yes. always loved those. I was <laughs> yeah, we've, we've been waiting on the trigger for those for a while. We had the courses obviously for years and uh, she fell in love with the Frenchies a while back and was like, we should get some Frenchies. I'm like, come on. <laughs> She's killing me with all these animals. <laughs> but I'm like, okay, we're, we're, we're entertaining. And then one day she called me and she's like, hey, I found some guy in the Ukraine that has some. I said, the Ukraine? Why we got to go there? Like, trust me, trust me you, you'll want them. And of course, once we found them, I'm like, okay, I love them. So, so it was, that's how it went with that. Yeah, my kids, my son likes shepherds too. So. That was the team I was on before Eric and I met. I was all team German Shepherd. And I had several German Shepherds growing up, so that was my ideal dog. But when I met her and she had two courses when we met, I fell in love with them, and they were just the temperament of the dogs, um, protection, right. the look of the dogs. Nobody messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, even if they're, you know, they're friendly. He is so friendly. Everybody just like they love him, but the look. I'm yeah. Like, if I saw him walking. There, yeah. yeah. But on the, if you're on the outside of the gate, he's another dog. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That's why I try to tell people who are interested in them is that in their circle, they're teddy bears. Oh yeah. But if you're not in the circle. Exactly. You shall not pass. Right, huh, buddy? Huh, buddy? My goal is to get him on raw. Right. And um, right now I got some grain-free organic food or something from Costco. 
also, mm -hmm. that I, but I don't want to keep him on that. So that's what I'm going to give you today to take mm -hmm. with you. Well, we feed our dogs a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. We have grain-free kibble that we get from the uh, farm feed store. Mm -hmm. They don't really sell it. They do sell equivalents in the grocery store, but right. it's not quite as good as the, what we get from the feed store. Right, right. Um, we mix that with eggs from our ducks and chickens, uh, goat's milk, uh, raw ground beef, right. uh, chicken, and sometimes we like poach the chicken. I mean, not poach it, but I like yeah. sear it right. sometimes um, just to give them a little flavor to it. Right. But we mix both so I they don't, don't feel exclusive. I don't want to start anything I can't keep up. Sure. So I'm going to figure out what's the best, because I know they have delivery services and all that, but, you know, I... I cook, you know, to me it's like, okay, if I have a deep freezer, maybe mm -hmm. if I can make a batch, mm -hmm. you know, and it can last for a while. So I'm going to I'm gonna fig figure that out because I don't want to, I see this arthritis and I don't want to keep him on medication. It just doesn't make any sense. I've never had to do that. Yeah. So the, uh, glucosamine in the, in the fish, like the, the sardines yeah. uh, or glucosamine supplements, if you had to go that route, right. so will help with that as well. Uh, tuna also. Yes, tuna as well. Just regular canned tuna. Like with the oil, yeah, not the water, oil. the oil. Yeah, oil. So, yeah. Oil. 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 yeah, so I started giving them that, but then I packed everything up and ran out. And today I was like, okay. Because when you guys are on the road, you know, I don't know if he's just going to eat just plain dry. You know how they get, they get spoiled. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> you, you drove yeah. from Atlanta? Yeah. They came to pick him up. They had to, <laughs> they had to drive. They yeah. Had to, yeah. No, I get it. Man. Yeah, because yeah, you didn't think about that. Yes, yeah. two how, ways. How, how, how long did it take you? Well, I, we didn't really like burn the road down getting here per se. So it took three, partially. I left Monday night, so I had to pick my daughter up, and uh, left Monday night, drove to Memphis. No, I'm sorry, to uh, Tupelo, Mississippi. Uh -huh. Stayed the night there, then drove from there to Oklahoma City, then from Oklahoma City to here. So, give or take, doing about 12 to 15 hours a day, driving and then sleeping at night. He didn't like to drive because I was like, let's just drive to Atlanta. Why don't we just drive the dogs, mm -hmm. us, the cars? It's a great trip, though, actually. No. It's a, I mean, I like I like traveling, mm -hmm. and I like to see the ground, you know, where people are. Like, right. when I go somewhere, I live, like find natives. So oh, I want to get, get, get in there. I, I used to work in New York, and I went the first week I was there, like, let me find the people that's here. Let me find a good place to eat from the people that's here. So right. I asked my coworkers where the place to go, not a travel agent, that kind of stuff. So that's, right. that's my thing. Right. So driving for me was not really a big of a deal, and it was daddy-daughter time. My daughter, nice, with her huh? in school, I don't get to see her that much anymore, so... Mm -hmm. Spend that time with her was was invaluable. Yeah, it's more like country where you are. Eh, I would say country slash suburb because it, when we first moved there, we thought it was gonna be like super duper country. But now we like we ain't far enough in the woods because it's right. like people are everywhere around us. Number one, uh -huh. uh, like our whole property is surrounded by pe another subdivision, mm -hmm. and then or subdivisions, and then uh, the town is growing. They're building hotels on the interstate get off where it was just a nice little country stop before. Now it's a big megaplex there with a oh. truck stop, and they're putting a, two hotels there, another truck stop on the other side of the highway. Right. So it's like, hmm, we may need to pack up and move further in the woods. No, because you, like, you wanted to be. We want, well, we want to be where we can have our animals, number one. And, nobody bothers and nobody's bothering us about that. And um, like we've done the suburban life our whole life, so it's like, man, we're trying to get away from that. Right. But 80, uh, 90 acres, man, you should be able to. We think, out. you would think. But honestly, what? every day that we're there, it's like, this place is shrinking. Oh. <laughs> when we first started looking for a place, we were like, eh, we should be able to get like five or ten acres, and that'd be great. And that is a lot to work with, you know, for what we're doing. But then we started looking at what, what else we want to do and what we could do. And just the ability of, how, of that we have property what that allows us to do. Mm -hmm. And a stable and all that kind of stuff. So it's like, we can really build our own little city out here, and this is just us. We don't have to worry about, you know, we don't have to go to the store because we're growing our own food. And all that kind of stuff. So we're trying to get to that lifestyle where we're maintaining our own sustainability. Yeah. I was saying that um, I'm excited to finally, you know, hook up with you guys. Mm -hmm. We want to get another dog. Sure. You know, Buddy's going to go back with you. Maybe we'll come to the farm and pick him up. Sure. So we have opportunity to see because we're we going to need a place we to board that. him. Yeah. And I think he's going to have fun running with your dog because he just really isn't getting enough exercise, especially mm -hmm. right now mm -hmm. with everything going on. He's mm -hmm. just in the house. Yeah. So I think he'll definitely have fun. And I'm interested to see how well he gets along. He seems fine, like, with other dogs. He's mm -hmm. not aggressive at all. Mm -hmm. So he's going to have a ball. I know. Running, huh? You're going to have a ball. We're going to miss you. They're going to take good care of you. Better to care than I take, probably. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure, buddy. No pressure on us. <laughs> They're going to take good care, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, like, Stay safe tonight. He's going to be like, nah, he's right. he be like, where do I want to go? Yeah. Like, I want to run. I want to run with the other dogs. But then when I was thinking Frenchie, mm. they weren't really feeling. So I tried to work them in that direction. Because <laughs> I think your, your wife said that he'd be good. They're rough and tumble. And we just want the dogs to get him moving. Sure. Know, get him mm. active mm. so that I can handle, you know? Oh, 
Oh, okay. You free? You liking me now? Oh, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's the course of the rain we talk about. <laughs> hey, boy. Are you liking me? As long as I'm in, you know, your, your parents are talking to me, it's okay. All right, buddy. Say bye, mommy. Bye, buddy. We're going to see you when you get there, okay? We'll be back for you. That's what they always say. That's how, these, that's how these movies always start. <laughs> so this was fun. I did really enjoy myself. I liked seeing the country. The only thing I wish was different was that I didn't have to worry about class and schoolwork the whole time. Um, also, I kind of wish we would have got to see more California, but I do understand we were on the time crunch. Other than that, I have enjoyed myself. I would do it again just with a <laughs> bigger car or van or something because I love the Jeep but it was not built for cross-country riding but yeah I had fun mission accomplished part one of our challenge was a huge success Greg and Gianna made it safely to California and retrieved Buddy without any glitches now they're on their way back with precious cargo in tow Curtis and Layla put their trust in us to take good care of Buddy and just like before, we're up for the challenge. So part two of the adventure begins. Thank you again for tuning in and following us on our journey. If you appreciated the video, leave us a like. Feel free to share your respectful thoughts in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.